everybody. Welcome to another episode of Mini Mama. High five. Uh, Bow five. So if you have been watching Little Women LA, you'll know that unfortunately my daughter is not walking yet. But that's okay. Um, the biggest problem that we have had were that all of the adaptions for little people walkers do not fit my daughter. Do not fit most little people at her age. So I want to create a little person walker myself. When I went to convention, I saw a lot of parents that had made walkers for their children. And I thought, if they can do it, then I can do it. So let's do this. Are you ready to make a walker? Yeah! This is honestly from the ground up, a brand new thing that I'm creating. It may work, it may not. But what I do know is that I'm doing it for the one I love most, which is you. Ugh! That was not very nice. Can I have a kiss now? What you're going to need are two half inch, three inch PVC pipes. You're gonna need two female connectors, one and two. And those, the reason why you need a female connector is because this one does not have a smooth gliding. It needs a connection. If it was smooth gliding, I could have left that product out, but unfortunately I couldn't find any that were smooth. Um, and so then you're gonna need two of these. I have no idea what these things are called. I'm gonna call it a TP upside down. It looks like a V going three ways. How exciting. You're also going to need PVC glue. Rubber stoppers. Soft gliders for the floor. This, these are felt base and they measure at an inch and a half. I'm not gonna use these today because we're not ready, but you're gonna need wheels eventually. So I picked these up and I think that they're gonna work perfectly. As you can tell, this is going to be about the height of the walker. These are two different heights. This is an average size walker. D'Artagnan loves this walker. I'm not saying that my child's average. I'm just saying right now, he's of average stature. This is a, a little personal walker. Right now we're gonna stick about a foot tall instead of whatever this may be. I'm guessing it's about 16 inches, maybe 18 inches, approximately. Mwah! Now, we're gonna take this fun little V and we're gonna connect it like so. I'm gonna need to screw my female into, I'm guessing this is a male. So sexual. So I screwed the female into the male about as far as it will possibly go. It's not gonna go all the way. Um, now I'm gonna take it out. It's a lot of screwing going on here. <laughs> so I'm gonna take the cement glue, ironically it's called Christie's cement glue, and we are going to paint the inside. Currently have, we have a 12 inch in the flush side, the male inside the female, and a 12 inch in the other flush side. We're now going to put the tiny little, I believe it's three inches, inside of the male part. And I'm gonna need some glue for that. Perfect. And now we're gonna connect the other side the exact same way as this side. So the reason why I'm making it shorter right here is because I want the T to go right here because if I just build this as a standard walker, whenever Penelope pulls up on it, she's gonna tip forward and I don't want that. So if there's a bar back here, it should stabilize her enough to where she's able to put pressure on the front end. Let's find out. Now we are this far. We have the T, we have the two three inch, we have the males connected to the females, three of the 12 inch, and we're gonna connect 
a 12 inch right here. But first we're gonna need some blue in each of them. And we're gonna connect the smaller ones in the back. I believe these were nine inches-ish. Now let's connect the 12 inch inside. You just need a little bit of this glue because it is industrial. So now, this is what the walker currently looks like. This bar here is for Penny to climb up on so that it doesn't tip. Here's hoping. Your two small bars, not the smallest ones, the second smallest one. You take these two bars, we're gonna glue them and put them in right here. Are you ready? Here we go. If you build it, Penny will come. The next step, you take the V's and you connect them to the far back of the walker. Penny, you don't even know it's about to go down. You want to make sure that they are facing the ground. We're going to put in the last two legs. have to be perfect it just has to be perfect put the last leg in all right what do we have here we have a walker so next I'm gonna put the rubber leg tips on so that she is protected and it doesn't move super fast leg caps on and I believe that's all that you're going to need the glue for. All right, I want it to glide. Right now, if there's no gliding, I want it to glide. So, I'm going to put threaded stem gliders on there. I'm gonna put a hole in the bottom of the cap, just a little bit, so that I can screw the felt stopper on the bottom. And it shouldn't come out easily. It's perfect. All four stoppers are now put on. Penny, we're done. We're done, yay! Look at that, Penny. Okay, so I weigh four pennies. I weigh about four pennies. It's holding me. I know it's gonna hold her. Now I wanna make it pretty because this isn't very inviting. like making me the happiest mom ever because this is exactly what I was hoping that she would want to do instead of me forcing her to do it she's definitely interested in making the walker work and I know this is only like five minutes since it's been built so I'm just really excited about yeah I am I'm very excited about where the future of this walker will be for her and I love that, I hope other little people can use this tutorial <laughs> and make walkers for their children as well because it was honestly under $10. It's so cheap and so easy to make this cute walker. Ready? It's like, she did it herself. She did it herself. Uh-oh, darts coming in. I'm not holding on. Penny. Oh, yes! Yay, Penny! Penny, 
He's got to go. So after I had finished painting, this is the final look of the walker. I really think you did a great job on the walker. It's very creative. I, I wouldn't have been able to think of this. Put it all low. It's so cute. Too. I was just really frustrated not having a walker that fit her as a little person. Right. And this walker actually is a good six inches shorter than the average child walker. And they're not adjustable. So I'm sure that there's other little children out there that have a hard time using the average size walkers. This is for you guys, the little children. This is one for you guys. And I made it red so that if we have any other children and they happen to be little, <laughs> Why does it always go that boys or pennies. girls pennies. can actually use it. This is pennies and this is the last kid we'll need to use this. And then if we don't have another child, at least it's red so that I can give it to a child that would like it, whether should, they're a boy or a girl. Shouldn't Penny, like, make it her own and bedazzle it her way? Put some cheese on it? A bottle holder right there? A oh, bottle holder? She loves it. It'll make her walk. Oh my god, we dangle cheese here? It'll make her, like, walk after it like she's chasing a fix. Time to walk, Penny! Give me the cheese. I'm going to leave all of the specifics in the comments below if any little people are interested in building a similar walker. Hopefully this helps out other families out there. Bye guys. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Have a great week. Bye. 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 See you later.